the California State Assembly passed the Fair Education Act, uh, largely along party lines, of signed by Governor Brown. California becomes the first state to require school districts to include the contributions of gay Americans in their social studies curriculum. California State Senator Mark Leno is the author of FAIR, uh, the Fair, Accurate, Inclusive, and Respectful Education Act. Also joining us, Randy Thomason, president of SaveCalifornia.com, who says this is sexual brainwashing. Let me start with you, uh, Senator Leno. Explain the bill and what the purpose of it is. Thank you, Alan, for having me on your show. Thank you very much for coming on. Very good job of explaining it. Current statute in our education code requires that the role and contributions of African Americans, Asian Americans, Mexican Americans, Native Americans, European Americans, women, those of different religions, all be included in our school curriculum. This bill merely adds the requirement, as you mentioned, that LGBT Americans be included as well. So we will further broaden the diversity of the human experience as taught to our children. This is good for both the straight students and for the LGBT students because they need to know that there are differences among us and how that we can best live together and learn to get along. And, in well, fact, that's really the most important thing they can learn in school. What, what's the state of the bill? It passed the Assembly. Has it gone to the Senate? Uh, it started in the Senate as uh, I authored the bill as a senator, and it made it through the second House, as you mentioned, with uh, some bipartisan support, and now it's on the governor's desk. Do you think he'll sign it? You know, I make a habit of not speaking for the governor, but <laughs> I'm hopeful that he'll receive it with an open mind and an open heart and recognize that this will be good for all students and lower the rate of this ever-growing phenomenon of school bullying, which has resulted in suicides and actually yeah. murder here in California. R- Randy Thomason, what's wrong with what, what? Why do you have an issue with this? Well, it would be inaccurate history. If you talk about uh, the history You've got to talk about negative and positive history. Even Equality California, uh, the sponsor of the bill, has said that, look, if it passes into law, that you can't say anything like uh, homosexuality is an unhealthy lifestyle. When the California Department of AIDS and the Cal- and the CDC both agree that a homosexual and bisexual behavior is the result uh, or result? Is that what you want to teach in schools? You want to teach that homosexuality well, let me is my sense. It, it is results. This behavior is actually resulting in, in three quarters of the HIV/AIDS cases in the nation, and that is something that could not be told to children under this. And you want to teach that? that. Reflect, let me ask you: uh, Do you personally. want to teach that in schools? Do you want to teach that being gay is an unhealthy lifestyle? Is that what you want to teach? Well, listen, we need to teach what is healthy because already children... Well, that was a yes or no question. Do you want to teach that being gay is unhealthy? Is that what you want to teach? I want want children to be taught about all healthy and unhealthy things. It doesn't really matter because kids are taught in government schools right now. Well, I think you're not giving me a direct answer. Don't don't smoke. Don't do But you're not giving me a direct answer. You want to teach that being gay is unhealthy, right? We have to tell children uh, that this type of behavior, as well as uh, fornication between heterosexual... Well, you're talking about the sexual aspect unhealthy. of it. What about teaching about the accomplishments of gay Americans? Why is that a problem? Well, why do you have to do it? Actually, by holding someone up to admire, you're telling the kids, hey, look, this is somebody who is a role model for you. In fact, the bill says that kids will can't be, be there can't about be gay the roles ro- and contributions. There can't be gay role models? Well, there are, but why do you have to push it upon the entire student population when uh, UCLA came out saying, look, only 1.7% of American adults say that they're, quote, gay or lesbian. Why do you have to push this on the entire student body of millions and millions of kids? And guess what, Alan? There's no parental opt-out, no parental notification. Parents don't want it, and this will be done behind parents. Senator Leno, does does, uh, Mr. Thomas in here have any good points? Well, I just want to refocus what the bill will do. You know, we appropriately teach our students that there was an African-American man by the name of Dr. Martin Luther King who very ardently and fearlessly fought for everyone's civil rights and was assassinated for his efforts. But we're not teaching students that there was a gay American man who also fought ardently and fearlessly for everyone's civil rights and was also assassinated for his efforts. We're talking about a community, as we well know, that has historically been demonized and discriminated against and which has in recent years successfully fought for its civil rights and constitutionally protected equal treatment under the law. That is a real 
chapter in civil rights history. And though I won't be making the exact decisions as to what is included in the curriculum and textbooks myself, that will be left up to the Board of Education. Our bill just says that it will be required that this history be included. And by censoring this history, which we are currently doing, we don't do anyone any good. What about Randy's contention that this is an unhealthy lifestyle and we need to teach, if we're going to teach about homosexuality, that HIV is a factor, sexually transmitted diseases, and that's what he seems to be focused on. You know, I want to be respectful of Randy's difference of opinion. He's certainly welcome to it. Uh, I do agree with you, Alan. Uh, He and much of the opposition is very focused, if not obsessed, with sexuality, thinking this is, that's what this is about. This is not. This is about teaching civil rights history. But Randy's also opposed to the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. He's opposed to laws protecting LGBT Americans from discrimination in housing and employment. He opposes declaring June Pride, uh, June Gay, uh, Gay Pride Month in California. So that's where his beliefs are. I can't change his mind, but it's certainly not mainstream belief. Let me ask you, Randy, should uh, they teach about Harvey Milk? The politician became the first openly gay man to be elected to public office in California, uh, and then he was assassinated. Should should that be taught? Should people be aware of that? Well, first, we have to remember whose children these are. These children do not belong to any of us. They belong to the parents, and parents have been polled in 2009. Survey USA found that 80% of Californians don't want Harvey Milk to have a statewide day of significance. I didn't uh, ask about a day. I'm just talking about, about teaching that. about it. I'm just talking about teaching the history. And in, in terms of the history of California, isn't the Harvey Milk story a significant one? Uh, yeah, but unfortunately, it's been sanitized. Harvey Milk was a sexual predator of teen boys. His official biographer, uh, uh, Randy Schiltz, who worked for the San Francisco Chronicle, was a gay man himself, said that uh, Harvey Milk had a, quote, penchant for young waifs uh, with substance abuse problems. That's from the life and times of Harvey Milk. This can't be told that he would be held up, but then what about everything that Harvey Milk stood for? He stood for basically polygamy, saying you love some more, you love some less, but just you can have all this sexual activity with all these people. This is a role I'm model. I'm not sure that's yeah, polygamy. It's a bad role model. It's uh, a bad role model. Uh, Senator Leno, can you respond to that? Uh, again, you can see that Mr. Thomason's comments are really very focused and uh, obsessed with sexuality. You know, we don't dive into the personal lives of John F. Kennedy when we teach about his presidency in schools, and we don't talk about whatever Dr. Martin Luther King was doing inside or outside his marriage when we talk to students about his valiant fight for civil rights. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a censored chapter in history which has led a sixth-grade boy in Ventura County, California, just nine, uh, three years ago, to be shot dead in his classroom by another sixth-grade boy. And when the teacher asked the assailant, 12-year-old, why did you kill your, your seatmate, he said, because the boy was too girly. Now, we are failing our students when we give license to them to, if not murder them, which has already happened, but to beat them up and to physically and emotionally abuse them, harass them, to the extent that we've seen a dozen 12- and 13-year-olds go home and shoot themselves dead and hang themselves from the backyard tree. We're denying our students the education that they need so they can get along in the world and so that we can have safe classrooms, which is what we should be providing all students, a place where they can come and study and learn and be able to aspire to every hope and dream that they may have. We're denying that currently. Let me go to Patty here in Sacramento. You're on with Patty. Go on with uh, Senator Leno and uh, Randy Thomason. Go ahead. Well, I was just calling to say that as a parent, of two children in California. If this bill is passed, I would seriously consider pulling my kids my kids out of the public schools, which I strongly support, and putting them in a private school so that so that I have the parental right to keep them out of anything that I feel like is detrimental to them as growing young men. What do you, Senator Leno, how do you respond to that? A parent said, I'll, I pull my kids out of school if this passes. Well, I'd certainly like the opportunity to talk further with any parent who would have that reaction because 20, 30 minutes of instruction out of the school year to better inform kids of our history I don't think is all that threatening. But if that is a parent's decision, I would never interfere with a parent's decision.